Hey there, we recently upgraded the controller on the Swift Zip e-bike to a little Amazon S900 and it's a 48 volt 22 amp controller and we're going to do a real world speed test. I mean obviously you're not always going to have full battery so we've got about 8 miles down on this ride or so. Um, right outside Phoenix, Arizona at the end of Sky Harbor Airport. Beautiful e-bike highway. That's on cue. Nice jet takeoff from the airport there. Forgive the bouncy camera. I don't have a helmet camera or anything like that. And uh, let's see what she does. It's about 95 degrees out, so it's a little bit warmer as well. Um, we do have a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery under the seat we're running off of for the test. Once again, so glad I upgraded to these hydraulic brakes now. <laughs> Definitely glad. So we, real world, I just, uh, um, I have my Zia Poxa cycling app, but I know from riding this route back and forth quite a bit, and uh, this is kind of a, a fun fun ride for me in the morning i know that we're about between eight and nine miles in right now to our ride and it's been you know thr pretty much just about throttle only the whole way here so with that that's kind of a real world uh, range test i mean you're going to get a little bit more out of it uh, with i mean obviously freshly unplugged from the wall and full charge and all that but kind of real world and this isn't perfect i mean it's 90 something degrees out here it's summertime in phoenix right so that's kind of what we have there so if you're looking to do the upgrade i would say yeah go for it it's not your overall it's not going to put you you know at 35 miles an hour or anything but the extra amperage has been really nice this bike has a lot more pop and um, climbing hills and stuff because it's delivering that 48 volts with up to 28 amps and I've watched uh, the wattage display so um, I've seen it this thing will maintain in cruise at about uh, 650 to 700 watts so that 750 that 500 with the 750 peak they claim 